What's going on guys? Welcome back. It's Celeb. I'm here to talk about QuakeCon 2014 and our experience with the evil within. So me and Dara went and covered QuakeCon 2014 as you have seen via secondopinionpod.com. Uh, we really loved QuakeCon this year. It was one of the best events that they have hosted in quite some time and another thing that just made it even more spectacular is the game that is finally bringing the survival horror genre back to its roots and that's the evil within now this game is definitely 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 already i can tell going to be a buy something that you need to purchase not rent because i got to play um a about a 40 minute demo while at quakecon in the press lounge in a completely dark room and it creep my wife out so much she had to stop playing about 10 minutes in and come over and sit next to me so <laughs> um but while we were playing or before we had our little scheduled sit down we got to play some of the demo down on the show floor it was i think it was the same demo but i got to kind of um whenever i went up to the press lounge i was able to explore more i guess is what i'm trying to say and uh the graphics of the game uh are fantastic uh, they look really great on the show floor. I played it on the Xbox One. In the press lounge, I played it on the PS4. Um, and you do see somewhat of a difference with the, I guess, sharpness and quality of the game. Um, not really quality of the game, but you know what I'm saying, visual quality of the game. It seems like it kind of held up a little bit more on the PlayStation 4 than what it did on the Xbox One. But it also could have been, you know, that the PlayStation 4s were just out and about. The Xbox Ones were down in the, you know, the display demo cases. Um, but either way, uh, during the game, uh, we actually played the E3 demo and we got to go and explore a mansion trying to save someone from this doctor and it was totally crazy. I mean, it has the whole aspect of like Resident Evil 4's, um, you know, infected, to so where they kind of, when they notice that you're coming towards them, they they do the creepy ass walk towards you. Their eyes are glowing, and they're com it's so 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 freaky, dude. And it 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 kind of gets me riled up and ready to play it, just like Outlast. Did. You know, Outlast. Um, was such a, a scary as hell experience but it was such an awesome experience because it just had you like on the edge of your seat the entire time evil within is going to do the same exact thing to you guys i'm telling you and there's a lot of aspects like while you're playing the game you were going to be sitting there thinking dude this is almost identical to resident evil 4 and like in the you know the game mechanics uh the shooting style the way that the characters like get up and kind of walk towards you and act like there's so much resident evil aspect in this game it's hard not to think that it's part of the resident evil uh you know series but it's not it's a completely separate title and uh, i'm really excited for the release while at quakecon it was announced that the game will be releasing on the 14th instead of the 21st of october so i am very very excited for this um and i have to give big shout outs to tango gameworks and also bethesda um for letting us play the demo while at quakecon it was it was just so good man so good guys and uh you know if you don't know anything really about the evil within yet you play a detective named sebastian and you and your partner are kind of investigating a mass murder and your partner dies and then you kind of start looking into things more and more and it just gets creepier and creepier so get ready for it guys because i'm telling you the evil within is going to bring back the survival horror genre in a very good way and i cannot wait for its release it's coming out for the playstation 3 playstation 4 xbox 360 xbox one and the pc on october 14th guys so make sure to check it out also make sure to check out bethblog.com all the latest and greatest updates on Bethesda Studios and software and whatever is going on in Bethesda's world. So thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to check us out at secondopinionpod.com. Peace out.